Tornado. Extinction. One of the things I've been uh, interested for a long time about is uh, if you Google ABA and put, click the images thing, or you Bing it, or you Yahoo it, whichever one you choose, uh, but everyone uses Google. So if you Google ABA and you click images, the first six, seven, eight, nine pages are always a, a variant on the um, adult and child sitting across from each other, like, do this, or do this, or card stuff. And obviously that's cool, that's kind of what, but I think that's, that matters because that becomes the perception that people have beyond like their really negative view. It's just like, it's always one, it's one to one. And I don't think that's what uh, the original people, there's like, it's one to one for a period of time. And then we try and stitch into the community or the school based setting and then we fade out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's one part of the process. And I think what I'd like to have, what I like social detectives to be and cadets and the other social skills group we're doing is one part of trying to create and then we post and label on the back end of the of the JPEG ABA is not just one to one or like groups group ABA and stuff just in the hope that one day the Google image search on page one might include the do this dude and the clap hands lady and then there'll be a small group where, or a classroom people implementing good discrete trial teaching or behavior skills training or teaching interactions or task analysis or ASR Hewitt genius stuff that is group stuff that people go oh ABA is individualized it's personalized but it can absolutely be done in a group context and it can be done and that, and that will help show its its mainstream ability because one-to-one -one is not the funding reality for anywhere in the world so the other reason why we do cadets and detectives is that to get a diagnosis of autism there has to be some deficit or some issue around social communication, social interaction, imagination, flexibility and social skills that's, or social competency, whatever you want to call it. That's the issue that is fundamental to a diagnosis and yeah, I, I'd be a, I could retire just based on all the IEPs or the, the targets that are set in schools around Johnny will learn algebra maths or uh, you know the literacy or the numeracy or the number or um, the reading and all the academic stuff. And I think that we as a society, we as you know, in almost all countries, uh, see a value in teaching kids to read, teaching kids to be able to recognize them and know this squiggle means three and this squiggle means a B. Uh, we don't let our kids grow up illiterate or enumerate and we implement things if, when a kid's struggling with that. And so for me the answer to the neurodiversity or the sort of pushback against like why, how dare you teach children with autism things, how dare you insult or just as like no 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 look it's, if a child is struggling socially then that's something that we should remedy and we should help them show this is how you take turns, this is how you have a conversation, this is how you make friends. Because that's a really cool thing to be able to do and the same way it's really cool to be able to read. The same way it's really cool to be able to do math or understand number at some level. So I think for me, the, the as hard as it is, and it's so hard to teach social skills and they're so much more messier than blue, touch blue, touch red, or touch you know cow, touch dog as messy and as hard and as slippery as it is, it's so fundamental to the autism field, like what the hell, we should be really good at that, both in the one-to-one -one context, but also in the group context, to show like uh, peers are an SD for the availability of reinforcement, which is what happens by osmosis naturally for kids, because it's like, I want to hang out with my peers, why, you know, I want to be friends with someone, I want to, you know, make them laugh. And I think, that is really powerful. If we can get that, if we can get really good at that, that that is going to turbocharge. Uh, that's going to let me hear your voice. Let me be your friend. Kind of like, how cool is that? Like, you taught my kid how to make and be in sustain a friendship. Like, that is hugely powerful. So that is your uh, British Daily UK. <laughs> there you go. The Daily. <laughs>